What's going on guys, Merrick here, back with another Dragon Ball Super video. You guys asked for it, you wanted part 2, you wanted to see the extra spoiler stuff we had, and we have brought it to you. World Martial Arts Tournament is already looking to be super dope, and I cannot wait to see what other stuff that they bring to the table. Let's go ahead and check out what we've got so far. Up first we have Green, which will be revealed on August 10th, that'll be next Friday. We have Trusting Relationship Kami, he's a 2-drop. Uh, we'll get to see what he does later on. It will be really cool to get some Kami cards uh, to go along with the Namekian support that we just got in Colossal Warfare. Really looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he combos together with Trusting Relationship Popo, he's a 1-cost. Honestly, I know people have been asking for more Mr. Popo support. Uh, whether or not they're serious about it or they're just trolling for the hell of it, uh, we are getting it. Uh, obviously, the play here is going to be to play Mr. Popo turn one, and then on turn two, you can play the Kami, and you'll be able to get both their abilities while they're both in your battle area. Up next, we've got another Chi Chi battle card. Uh, it's got a specified energy of two green, so I'm going to assume she's probably a three or a four drop. Uh, I, it is cool to have more uh, Chi Chi support, even though. Chi Chi was kind of a bitch in Dragon Ball Z, but in Dragon Ball she was generally just kind of uh, a comic relief character with uh, Kid Goku, and then when they grew up together, uh, you could tell that she actually cared about Goku at one point uh, before she went all psycho, psycho crazy with uh, Gohan. Then we've got a green Krillin with a specified energy cost of 2 green, so he's also probably going to be a 3 or a 4 drop. Uh, always welcome to uh, see that we're getting more Krillin support, although it has been pointed out that it's pretty depressing that we're getting an announcer leader, who I am happy about, uh, before we got a Krillin leader. It's just like with Hercule and Piccolo. Everybody was upset we got a Hercule leader before Piccolo, and then we got Piccolo in the next set. Who knows, we could get a Krillin leader in this, uh, in this set. I really hope we do. Then we've got a green Yamcha, also with a specified energy cost of 2 green, so he could be anywhere between a 2 drop and a 4 drop. But I am looking forward to all these new Yamcha cards, uh, so that hopefully we can have a good, or at least a decent, uh, Yamcha deck, or even just an engine that we can run uh, to prove that he's better than the meme that he has become. Up next we have Destin Conclusion Hero, he's uh, the human that Kami took over to uh, battle against Piccolo Jr. during that World Martial Arts Tournament. Uh, he's going to be a 3 cost, and it looks like he's going to have to be the super rare since it says that the reveal will be on September 7th, so that'll be close to the release date for the, for the World Martial Arts set. And he's going to go along with... Destin Conclusion Piccolo Jr. This is also going to be a super rare. You can tell by the energy waves coming off that energy blast. He's about to fire. It's going to have that super rare foiling. And it's uh, going to be revealed September 7th. He's a 5 cost. Uh, going to be pretty cool to get more Piccolo Jr. cards. Because one, we'll have another Piccolo Jr. target for the... Uh, five drop rare King Piccolo that we got in set four. Uh, but also just because it's more Namekian support in general. The week after Green's reveal, we have the reveals for Red on August 17th. Uh, we have Dark Duo Bobbity. He's going to be a 3 cost, and he's going to combine with Dark Duo Deborah. He's going to be a 4 cost. I am really excited to see all of this Deborah stuff, uh, because I did like him as a character. I thought he was really cool. A, a little underappreciated, um, and then he just got a little weird after he uh, died and went to the afterlife. But I would love to build a decent deck around Debora and Bobbity because uh, we've got this Debora, we've got the five drop Debora from the Ultimate Box, and we've got the three drop Debora that protects all your Bobbities from a set two. Then for the red super rares, we have Supreme Showdown Vegeta. He's going to be a five cost. The art looks fantastic. Uh, love seeing that we're going to get more Majin Vegeta support. And, unfortunately, they don't really tie well together. I would love to build a Majin deck. Not necessarily a Majin Buu deck, but a deck that has, like, Majin Vegeta's, uh, or even Deboro, because he's got the Majin symbol on his head, maybe a few Bobbities. I think that would be really a really fun archetype to run, especially if you could run it with, like, a, the Bobbity leader, or if, for shits and giggles, you uh, wanted to run a not-so-great leader, you could run the Majin Vegeta leader. He's going to go together with Supreme Showdown Son Goku. He's also a 5 cost, also going to be a super rare. Look at that art. Even the foiling just looks like it's going to be really badass on these two cards. Um, getting to run more Boo Saga 
Steam decks is going to be awesome. Uh, hopefully, these two play off each other really well. Uh, the only downside is they're both five costs. So, are, is one of them going to play the other? Are they going to have any evolve costs? Like, I don't see how well you're going to be able to get them both out, especially with the way the current format is. It's way too fast to be able to drop multiple five drops and keep them alive unless they have barrier. It will be really cool to be able to run those with like a Vegito deck though because that leader is going to change them all to green and blue as well as red and maybe you can find some really cheeky ways to take advantage of that depending on what their abilities actually are. Then we've got a common or uncommon combination that's going to be Videl and Gohan. They both have one red specified energy cost so Videl is probably a one cost, Gohan's probably a two cost. Um, it is cool to see more Gohan support because Gohan's one of my favorite characters so I like seeing that he constantly gets support and having Videl support that goes with him is really nice too uh, especially since you could run the uh, free Videl blocker to protect you know either this Gohan or this Videl from uh, getting KO'd and you can keep using their abilities then we've got another Mighty Mask with a specified energy cost of 2 red uh, will he have a similar effect that has to do with Trunks and Goten probably or more specifically he'll go along with the uh, Trunks and Goten combo cards that go together like we uh, talked about in the previous video. Possibly having another effect similar to the previous Mighty Mask we had where he can search those two cards out, specifically searching that Trunks and that Goten. Then for blue we have Begrudging Respect Vegeta. He's going to be a 4 cost and I like that they added another Vegeta that's going to be part of one of those combination cards. Uh, looks like it probably will maybe just be a rare, possibly even an uncommon. Uh, as a foil, it doesn't look like it's going to have any super rare foiling. Uh, but I love the fact that they combined Vegeta with Begrudging Respect Piccolo. The two characters, they just they go so well together because they were both villains. They both hated Goku. They both became friends with Goku. And then eventually they got to the point where they not only respected him, but they considered him a friend. Um, and since this is at the end of Dragon Ball Z, this is uh, the ending part where it's like 10 years ahead of time. Uh, from the Boo Saga or however long it was, uh, it's not considered GT. Uh, this so this is where Vegeta completely respects Goku. He's admitted that he's he's better than him, and he knows that. And now they're just friends, and he's not an asshole. And uh, of course, getting more Piccolo support. Now, with it being blue support, if the Piccolo ends up being good, I might actually run a blue green Namekian deck because then I can search out this Piccolo with Planet Namek, and then whenever I get the chance to play that Vegeta, I can play the Vegeta and get both their abilities off at the same time. I also managed to snag this one as well. It looks to be a super rare Hercule one drop. Maybe a two drop because of the one specified energy, but we're gonna have a super rare Hercule card. Oh my god, did we ever think we were gonna see the day. And it's Old Man Hercule too. So who knows what this card will end up doing. Uh, if he'll end up being World Martial Arts specific or if he'll have any abilities that pertain to Mr. Boo. More than likely it'll be Mr. Boo and not Majin Boo. Since the blue Majin Boo we already see is probably going to be uh, Mr. Boo as well. I also managed to catch this one as well. It looks to be a Super Saiyan Gohan, although it's really hard to tell. It looks like it has a specified energy cost of two blue, so it could be anywhere between a two and a four drop, maybe even a five drop. Um, but again, I'm always happy to see more Gohan support. I'm pretty sure that's Gohan. Uh, it could be a Goku, I suppose. Um, although the hair doesn't really seem to fit Goku's hairstyle. That looks like Super Saiyan 1 uh, Gohan. Then we have Trunks all grown up. It looks like he's got a specified energy cost of 1 blue, so probably anywhere between a 1 and a 3 drop. Uh, that looks to be from his fight against the uh, creepy stripper type guy that was in the police outfit. I don't really remember it for sure, I just remember he was creepy as hell. Uh, hopefully we'll get some really good Trunks support as well. Even though it won't be future Trunks, I won't be able to use it the way I want to. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind having some, some good kid Trunks cards, even though he's not really a kid now. So he'd be Trunks youth, but he wouldn't be youth. I'm not really sure how they'd classify that. Uh, maybe it would have a different distinction, but I guess that all depends on whether or not they want to call him GT or just leave him as Trunks Youth since he is still kind of younger. I'm not really sure how they'd go about that though. Then we have this big ugly oaf. I don't remember what his name was. I believe he was the big dude that kind of 
tried to pick on Pan in like her first round, and she just knocked him out with like one hit or something like that. Uh, he's got a specified energy cost of two blue, so he's at least a two drop. Uh, why would they make this guy one of the uh, the better cards and not you know a one drop or just some random filler? Is beyond me. Then here we have Evil Dark Prince Vegeta. The art looks super dope. However, if you'll notice, it is a yellow card, uh, which doesn't fit with the theme of this set, considering yellow for this set is Dragon Ball. So the only color he would fit in would have to be red. So unless the, the color of the card and everything is uh, just kind of just a stock image to, to just be able to show it off, uh, I'm not really quite sure why he would ever be yellow or how why they would even do that i know uh, in other sets they've had like filler characters like in set three for blue it was all about the boo saga and then you had the ultra instinct sign goku that was just kind of thrown in there but i don't see why they would even do that with this set since he would fit perfectly in with the red then speaking of red, we've got another Piccolo Jr. that really shouldn't be red. He would be green to go along with uh, the 23rd Martial Arts Tournament, in which case he was actually a part of. So again, why he's red, it probably just has to be just like a filler uh, image and they just chose that color. Maybe they didn't even mean to do so or maybe it was intentional just to throw us off. But again, getting more Piccolo Jr. support would be really friggin' awesome to have. Then we've got another Tien Shinhan, uh, specified energy cost of two blue. Uh, with these images, though, like I said with the other two, we're not gonna, you know, we're gonna take it with a grain of salt. Uh, the images are probably legit as far as the card art and the names. However, the colors are probably wrong because it just wouldn't make much sense to mix and match them, especially since blue for Tien would make zero sense because I don't even think he was in uh, the tournament, let alone that episode after the Boo Saga. Then lastly, we've got another Kid Pan. Uh, this one has a specified energy cost of three green, uh, whereas the four drop pan that we have uh, that we showed in the previous video only had a specified energy cost of two. So I'm pretty sure that they will be completely different cards. Um, which, I mean, for the Pan fans, I guess you'll get more Pan cards. Uh, she wasn't as annoying as a little kid like she was in GT, so maybe I won't mind playing this one. It's all really going to have to depend on the uh, future re reveals for each of the colors uh, to really tell whether or not she'll even be worth using or whether she'll be one of those cards that is just so much later in the game that you can't play because you can't keep up with the speed of the uh, current format. But that's going to wrap it up for part two of our World Martial Arts Tournament spoilers. Um, if you happen to have seen anything else that we haven't included in this video, or you might know more than I do, uh, whether it's regarding the cards at the end where the colors just don't match the uh, characters and their uh, timeline arcs, or whether it's via some of the other cards that we've already gone over, if you know what any of the abilities are, or if there's any cards that we have missed, uh, feel free to let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or you agree with me on any of the points we've had or you just like seeing uh, all the new stuff coming out early make sure you hit that like button down below for us you know we appreciate the support we appreciate all of our subscribers we had 939 the last time i looked and that is fantastic we are so close to getting that partnership back and it means so much that you guys are willing to just support us in this journey that we are taking we're gonna go ahead and get the freak out of here though and we'll see you guys in the next video